What's up everybody, welcome to Boot Camp. Boot Camp is a video series of training tips and tricks, gripes, tactics, and suggested gameplay tutorials for online shooters. While we cover different shooters throughout the series, most topics covered can be used in different games unless specifically noted. This week we will cover explosive training in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Because of the gameplay mechanics, the majority of the tactics discussed in this video will stay with Black Ops 2. Grenades are your typical explosive and usually come in standard and sticky variations. These are pretty self-explanatory so we won't go too deep into this. Your standard grenade has a 3.5 second timer before it explodes. So timing is important when throwing. Also standard grenades have a bounce to them so aim right. Grenade. Sticky grenades or Simtex are grenades that stick to whatever they hit. These grenades have a shorter fuse of about 2 seconds. Be careful of where and how you throw these as they will not bounce and stick to whatever or who they hit. Sticky, watch it! KIA! C4 is a remote detonated explosive. Basically, you plant the C4 and remotely detonate it. As you guessed, this means you have to have sights on what you're trying to blow up. This typically is only good for guarding entryways, flags, and etc. when you're going to keep your eye on, on the objective. While some people use these as grenades, I don't use this tactic so I can't speak on it. Claymores are front directional explosives that are triggered when the enemy crosses one of two red beams. These are good to cover entryways, tight hallways, flags, and other objectives. Placement is important as these can be countered pretty easily. Charges down! Bouncing Betty. This explosive is one of my favorites and will trigger when enemies enter its proximity. This explosive explodes in the air with a 360 degree blast radius. These are good to cover heavy traffic areas, doorways, objectives, and just to hide in rooms that you know enemies will enter. There are a few counter actions to explosives that deal with smart movement and the use of perks. We will discuss these now. In your first slot you have the perk flat jacket. This will reduce all explosive damage unless directly hit with the explosive. So this means you can get away from grenades and sticky explosives unless you're right on top of it. The flat jacket perk also lets you run clean over claymores and bouncing beddies. Frag out! Going explosive. In your second slot, we have the fast hand perk. This will let you reset the fuse on grenades so you don't have to worry about cooked grenades. Move. 
Next up in your final slot you have the engineer perk. This will let you see all enemy equipment that is lying around the map. So before you go into a room with a trap you will be able to see it. In addition to perks, tactical movement and quick reflexes will also help you to avoid some explosive damage. With bouncing beddies, they give off a couple of beats before they explode. If you can duck down to the ground before they explode, you avoid the damage completely. Claymores have two red triggering lasers that once crossed will detonate the explosive forward. If you can sprint past this fast enough to get behind the device before it explodes, you will be safe. All of this should be basic knowledge for experienced players, but as we all know, everyone that plays the game is not experienced. Take what is shown today and use it in your own strategies on the battlefield. For every tactic, there is a counter tactic. Remember that and see you next time. Peace.